Hi, this is William here, and today we're going to talk about writing concise posts. Writing concise posts. Clear out the deadwood. Deadwood refers to a word or phrase that can be omitted without a loss in meaning. Removing it shortens and clarifies your copy. Once you recognize deadwood, it's easy to eliminate. Look for words or phrases that add unneeded bulk to a sentence and weaken its message, like quite right, very unique. Common phrases that are bloated with redundant or highfalutin words added bonus, currently unavailable, unimportant words at the beginning of a sentence that push the most important information further from the start. For example, as a matter of fact, in the same way. It's usually good to cut such words and phrases, but be aware that what is deadwood may depend on the context. <clears throat> in some cases, you may want to retain words or phrases to emphasize a point, to maintain a certain voice, or to optimize your site for pickup by search engines. Remove one word, deadwood. Some common words appear in sentences only because people are used to hearing them. They aren't essential to the sentence, but you can usually cut the following words without losing meaning. Actively, easily, quite, actual, actually, existing, rather, already, extremely, really, always, fairly, several, and any. Much simply, appropriately, appropriately, particular, suitable, associated, predefined, totally, automatic, automatically, previously, very, and currently. Some examples uh, before to review previously delighted, deleted items, click the view delete button. After to review deleted items, click the view deleted button. Before, always make sure that you enter into the right address that it's spelled correctly. Afterwards, make sure that you enter the right address and that it is spelled correctly. Remove deadwood phrases. Unnecessary phrases at the beginning of a sentence push the meaningful information to the middle of the sentence further from a scanning reader is likely to reach. Consider these guidelines for cutting deadwood phrases. Avoid construction like if you want to, if you wish to, if you need to, if you would like to, in order to, and if you're looking for. Use the infinitive, the two form of the verb or rewrite the sentence. Some examples. Before, if you like to block explicit contact for every search, go to Preferences. After, to block explicit contact for every search, go to Preferences. Second example. Before, if you need more information, contact us. After rewriting for more information, contact us. Replace you can with the infinitive and adjust the sentence as necessary. Some examples. Before you can change your avatar by clicking the Customize button. After rewriting to change your avatar, click the Customize button. Replace you can, choose to, you can decide to, in similar constructions with a direct verb. So an example before, you can choose to search for airlines, hotels, or car rental chains. After, you can search for airlines, hotels, or car rental chains. And even better, search for airlines, hotels, or car rental chains. Replace expressions containing you will need to or you, are you need to with you must or the imperative, the command form of the verb. Example, the first thing that you will need to do is to choose a product category. After rewriting, first choose a product category. Delete of the in constructions like any, any of the, some of the, one of the, each of the, many of the, most of the, a few of the, and several of the. Delete of and all of the and half of the examples. Before, all the services listed here are available to our members. After rewriting, all the services listed here are available to our members. Before, each of the addresses you enter is saved in your account. After rewriting, each address you enter is saved in your account. Delete make in constructions like make a copy, make a change, make a purchase, make use of, make an adjustment, make a decision, and make a correction and adjust the sentence as necessary. Some examples before, make a copy of the document to save it for your records. After, copy the document to save it for your records. Before, to make corrections to your order, contact our sales department. After rewriting, to correct your order, contact our sales department. Cut length, not clarity. <coughs> Some words that seem unnecessary to native English speakers may be cues that aid comp comprehension for people less fluent in English. If your audience is likely to include non-native speakers, follow these guidelines to retain cues that add clarity. Keep the word that, especially when it introduces a clause. 
an example before put the car in park to make sure the wheels don't roll on an incline and the auto drive function doesn't restart automatically after rewriting put the car in park to make sure that the wheels don't roll on an incline and that the auto drive function doesn't restart automatically repeat helping verbs such as can, could, may, must, might, should, would, and will. For example, items you wish to return must be packaged in their original packaging and shipped to the following address. After rewriting, items you wish to return must be packaged in their original package and must be shipped to the following address. Keep the word then and the if then constructions within a sentence is very long or complex, or be better, rewrite the sentence so it is shorter. Example, if your calendar order is not arrived by December 1st and you have not already been contacted by your representative about delays, go to your My Account page and click the, tra the Track Orders button. After rewriting, if your calendar order is not arrived by December 1st and you have not already been contacted by your representative about delays, then go to your My Account page and click the Track Orders button. For more writing strategies to add clarity for non-native English speakers, see Write for an international audience, standardize, internationalize, or localize. Get to the good stuff. Most readers aren't interested in how or why a service or feature was developed. Give them the information they came to find and spare them the details about what you did, how you did it, how hard it was to accomplish. Eliminate unnecessary information, self-serving expressions, and the backstory, and get to the key points quickly and efficiently. Add a link to your company's history for people who are interested. Examples. Way back in 2002, when our founder was enjoying her thriving dog walking business, she suddenly realized what a great idea it would be to offer emergency dog sitting to busy professionals who discovered at the last minute that they needed to leave town on business. We created our dog sitter direct option to meet the needs of busy professionals and others who may require these emergency services. After rewriting, our dog sitter direct option meets the needs of busy professionals and others who may require emergency and last minute services. Another example, click Create Account to create your account or select Guest Account, an option that was developed so that shoppers who don't want to create an account can still purchase products. After, click Create Account to create your products or select Guest Account to purchase products today without creating an account. And that concludes the presentation on writing concise posts. This is William. We'll see you the next time.